Now to render out this viewport image, we can do it in a few ways. So the first way would be through this icon and then send it to end play. We need to wait a bit. And unfortunately, I don't know why. I mean, right now I know why this is not the same color as here. And even if I change it to gamma 2.2 and if I just save under desktop accept let's say png uh, both those settings are the same uh, in this case doesn't do anything even though it should so this this actually might be a bug and the problem is that i get this out which is not what we want so luckily there is an easier way under the save image so if i save this one under the um, where is it untitled one a bit of mess just accept and now if i open this file now we can see that we have matching renders okay and the next uh, way we can actually do this is if we just set a karma lob now this error doesn't mean anything and now instead of using the uh, render settings from the viewport and viewport means these settings so whatever settings are set here when viewport setting is enabled will of course be applied here but if we have karma setting or uh, lob okay then Uh, we set this to basically render render settings and now you see here that everything is grayed out and then here we are uh, making our settings as we see fit so we can go through some of these we don't need motion blur actually i need dicing so if i set let's say 1.5 this is like uh, this is this will help this uh, displacement to have more resolution. So be careful with this. Um, don't go too high. It's gonna eat your RAM. Here from here we can also set caustic, but yeah, we don't need this. Here, of course, we can choose between these two denoisers. Let's go with Intel Odin this time just to see how it will look. There is not too much. Uh, at least I didn't notice too much of a difference. Uh, with the end results uh, of course we have our aoes but we can also use a quick setup from here and just set some of these aoes um, by well these settings so automatically we set some of the aoes which will then which we can then harvest after we render out our image and to utilize that, we need to have uh, also USD render wrap, which pretty much uh, is good to go. One thing that's uh, good to set, let me just see, is it here? And it's about uh, your EXR files. Um, basically, there is a way to set them to be much more efficient uh, okay here under the metadata under image output set exr compression to this lucian fast 256 k line block and because of this your exr files should be much smaller here we can set the final resolution we have some of the presets I will stick with this CPU engine. Yeah, samples 128. This might be overblown, but doesn't matter. And now, if you go to USD render up, we can make we can well render current frame or or specific frame for animation. But in this case, we just have one frame, and we can choose to render to disk, so usual uh, Houdini stuff, or render to M play. So let's pause this render. By the way, uh, also you have these uh, shortcuts for the viewport regarding rendering. So to resume or pause rendering, uh, we press Shift P. 
and to restart rendering alt r okay and to start rendering shift r here again the colors are not right because of well this and of course now we need to wait and once it's done we simply go here save frame as and well pretty much in this case we would um, export um well exr probably so we have some of the settings again this setting if we are exporting exr from here again this setting will make your exr smaller uh, but if we are setting uh, AOEs to get um, exported from, from this uh, USD render LOP or ROP, uh, we can actually go and uh, put, ah, okay, here, okay, so sequence of EXR files, stiff or pick. And of course, you would choose your path and yeah, clicking render will automatically save your EXR images uh, to this path. So you don't even have to use this if you don't want. But if you want PNGs, JPEGs, then you should do it from here. And once the render is done, that's that's it. You're you're good to go. And with this, guys, that that would be all. Uh, hopefully, you learned something. Uh, again, there is much more to all of this. Uh, which I tend to show in our next, next big project, which is the engine blade from Final Fantasy. Until then, guys, uh, hopefully, again, you enjoyed and learned something, and uh, see you soon.